Hello, I'm Alex T. Smith, and this is one of my little dogs called Mr. Billy Bongo. And I'm the author and the illustrator of the Mr. Penguin books. And this is the latest one, the third in the series, called Mr. Penguin and the Catastrophic Cruise. Now today, I thought that I might teach you how to draw Mr. Penguin, with Mr. Bongo's help, of course. So if you want to join in, you need a piece of paper and a pencil, and that's it. So go and grab those and we can get started. So we have our piece of paper and our pencil and we're ready to go how to draw Mr. Penguin. Well, the first thing we do is we draw his body and he has got sort of a funny shaped body. We will start with his head, which is just sort of like an upside down letter U like that. And then his body is nice and round, like this. So he looks a little bit like a frying pan or a um, table tennis um, bat. Now what we need to do next is, this is gonna be the white bit of his body, and then we need to very carefully follow that shape round that we've drawn, like this, with another little line. And we're going to colour this in this is the black bit of his body, like so. We leave a little gap at the top there for his beak. And there we go. So you draw all around his body like this and then we colour it in. I'm going to do it quite quickly, but you can do it much more neatly than I'm doing it. So we go all the way around here. All the way around here. There, down here, do this last bit like that, all the way around there. That's not very neat, but I'm sure yours will be a thousand times neater than mine. So there we go. So we're going to draw Mr. Penguin uh, with one flipper up and one flipper down. So his flippers are just sort of banana shapes like this. So we draw one banana shape like that and one up, he can be waving to us. And we're going to color those in quickly as well. There's lots of coloring in with Mr. Penguin because he's black and white, like so. So we're going to do that all the way up here. There we go. Right, now we need to make sure that he's looking very smart indeed. He always likes to look nice and dapper. So he always wears a bow tie. So the bow tie is a little square there in the middle of those two bits there before his body widens out and we draw a triangle on this side and one on that side. I'm going to draw spots in mine because I think I like quite like the idea of a spotty bow tie but you can decorate yours however you like. It could go as crazy as you as you like with that. So there's his bow tie and we're going to draw his legs. Now his legs are like a little number 11 down there and a little number 11 down there like that. And his shoes are two very long, skinny, um, sort of sausage shapes, which we colour in, uh, with a tiny little square at the bottom for the, for the heel bit. And we need to make sure that his shoelaces are done up. So we draw two love hearts on the top and we can draw some floaty bits of laces there uh, underneath. So we're going to now go right up to the top of his head and we're going to draw his special adventurous hat. His hat is called a trilby and it starts off like this. We draw a line right across there, just a straight line. Mine's a bit wobbly, but that doesn't matter. And then we draw an M shape on top of it because trilbies have this sort of funny wobbly bit at the top of the, of, of, of the hat. And we're going to colour that in. Now I like to press a bit harder with this because it makes it look even darker than his body. So we give a good scribble there. You can hear how, how hard I'm pressing down. Now that's his hat, but of course, Mr. Penguin needed something a bit more adventurous than that. So he's had an arrow put through his hat to make him look more exciting. So we're going to pretend our pencil is a bow and arrow and we're going to pull it back and we're going to fire a straight line through the middle of his hat like that. That's the arrow. And we draw the pointy bit there on one side and we draw the feathery bit on the other side. Now the feathery bit is we draw lots of little 
diagonal lines pointing that way. And we do the same underneath, but pointing in the other direction. And we join them all up with a line like so. Now we need to give Mr. Penguin a face. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to draw his beak and his beak is sort of a sausage shape, really. It's just a big sausage shape like that. And we're going to draw a line in the middle of it so that he can talk and smile. And you can colour that in with your orange crayon or your orange felt tips later on. And we're going to draw his eyes. We're going to draw two circles like this. Now, this is a top secret illustrator's tip. Now, if we put two dots right in the middle of his eyes like that, he'd look a bit like a zombie because he'd be staring at us. We want him to look much more friendly than that. So this is the top secret illustrator's tip. Don't draw the dots in the middle of the eyes. In one of the eyes, we'll do this one here. Do draw a black circle right in the middle. But on this one, draw it over to one side like this. Can you see? makes all the difference, especially when you add some nice jaunty eyebrows up there, like so. Now we're almost finished. We've just got to draw his tail and his tail is a triangle stuck to his bum like that. And we color that in. And then we need to make sure that Mr. Penguin is standing on the ground because he does have a habit of, of um, tripping up quite a lot. And the way to do this is we're going to draw some, um, we're going to do some special illustrator scribbling, S-I-S. And that means we don't go bonkers, we just use scribbling very sensibly to draw a shadow. So we do a little scribble under his feet. Now the last thing we need to do is what all artists do when they've created a masterpiece like this, is they sign their name to the bottom. So I'm going to put mine here. I want you to put the bottom, yours at the bottom of your picture and then I want you to admire it because I think you'll have done a fantastic job. So well done.